Hello students, welcome to my class. I'm Elias. Today in this lesson, I'm going to discuss one of the most important and basic chapter from English grammar and that is number. We will complete this chapter in two sessions and after the completion of this chapter, you will be able to use the correct form of numbers in your speaking as well as in writing. So let's understand what number is. In grammar, the number refers to the count of a noun or pronoun. Example, boy, boys, bus, buses, country, countries, mouse, mice, etc. Basically, number hota hai noun ka counts. When we see the examples, the word boy and boys, what's the difference? What comes in your mind when we see the pair of words boy and boys the boy represent the single count and boys represent more than one means more than one boy now let's see the types of number there are two types of number singular and plural singular number if we look at the word singular it itself tells us what it means the word itself gives us an idea what it means it refers to the count of only one noun or pronoun example bird sister table etc these set of words bird sister table etc represent only one count Let's say for example if we use the word bird in a sentence the bird is flying in the sky here the word bird representing only one bird representing only one count we are talking about only one bird plural plural refers to the count of more than one noun or pronoun more than one it can be two three hundred thousand million anything but it is more than one whenever s uh, something is more than one we call it as plural example birds sisters tables etc if we look at the examples in plural form the same set of words have been taken here the bird become birds sister become sisters table become tables so there is a slight difference in between the singular and the plural form so let's take an example let's use this word birds in a sentence if we say that the birds are flying in the sky that means more than one birds and these birds are flying in the sky okay so now there are various rules by which we can change a singular number into plural and we will discuss all these rules one by one and before going ahead let me tell you one thing these rules are very general exceptions are always there that does not mean that nothing can be happen out of this rules ye rules ke bahar kuch bhi nahi ho sakta hai aisa nahi hai bahut sare exceptions hai we will continue this lesson uh, in in uh, part 2 we will discuss those exceptions as well now let's move ahead with the rules rule number 1 in general an s is used at the end of singular noun or pronoun to make it plural very simple and this rules is used very frequently bahut hi common rule hai bahut hi frequently hum use karte hain singular se plural banane ke liye aur wo hai simply hame ek s add karna hai at the end of the singular noun for example let's take an example this word pencil p 
pen cil pencil it represents only one pencil it is in singular form and if we add an s at the end of pencil it become pencils so here you can see the plural form pencils similarly cow cows house houses dog dogs mobile mobiles train trains fan fans road roads map maps etc many more example can be given but i hope uh, this many examples are enough to understand this let's move ahead with the next rule rule number two by adding es at the end of nouns which end with s s h c h x and z we cannot always just add an additional s to make a noun plural we cannot do this always okay, let's see the word bus b u s यहाँ पे बताया जा रहा है रूल नंबर टू में कि जो भी वर्ड्स एस एस एच सी एच एक्स या तो फिर जेड से ख़त्म होता है उसके बाद हमें ई एस ऐड करके प्लूरल बनाना है अगर हम सिंपली सिर्फ एस ऐड करते हैं तो इट बिकम्स बी यू डबल एस बस इवन द मीनिंग गेट्स चेंज so we cannot do this according to the rule since this word ends with s we need to add an es so it become buses okay you can see the plural form here buses similarly dish dishes branch branches fox foxes face faces dash dashes let's move on to the next one rule number 3 by adding just s well pronunciation of ch like ka according to the rule agar koi word ch se khatam hota hai aur uska pronunciation ka sound hota hai as we know the ch can be pronounced in two ways two sounds the cha sound or ka sound the consonant sound here the list of words all these words the ch pronounce as ka not cha so whenever a word ends with ch and the pronunciation of the ch is like ka sound we need to add just and s the word monarch m o n a r c h monarch here the pronunciation of c h is like the ka sound therefore we need to add just an s to make it plural so monarch becomes monarch similarly patriarch patriarchs matriarch matriarchs stomach stomachs hierarch hierarchs rule number 4 part 1 when there is an y at the end and a consonant before that y i substitutes it and an es thereafter jab koi noun y se khatam hota hai aur y se pehla wala letter consonant hota hai as we know there are 26 letters in english alphabet out of which the five letters a e i o u these five letters are called vowel and rest of 21 letters are called consonant okay so this word story ends with y or y se pehle kya hai r so r is a consonant so according to rule what we need to do is we need to replace y by with i so y becomes i and thereafter es so story becomes stories okay so here is the plural form 
stories similarly hobby hobbies country countries fly flies baby babies party parties rule number 4 part 2 but if there is a vowel ahead of that y no need to change it only s need to be added agar koi word y se khatam hota hai aur y se pehle कॉन्सनेंट नहीं वावेल होता है पांच पावले में से कोई भी एक लेटर ए ई आई ओ यू कोई भी वावेल सब्सटीट्यूट वाई विथ आई it will remain as it is and after y we just need to add an s so it boy becomes boys okay similarly toy toys day days ray rays key keys here the word key spelled as k e y ends with y or y se pehle e hai again e is also a vowel that's why key become keys next rule 5 v replaces f or fe and then adds an es jo bhi word jo bhi noun f se khatam hota hai f ya to fir fe ऐसे वर्ड्स को प्लूरल बनाने में हमें एफ के जगह वी लिखना है और उसके बाद ई एस सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल फिफ बिकम्स फिफ्स वाई की जगह वी आ गया और उसके बाद ई एस एड हुआ है ठीक है सो फिफ बिकम्स thefts similarly wife wives knife knives wolf wolves leaf leaves rule number 6 part 1 by adding es if the noun ends with o and a consonant places ahead agar koi noun o se khatam hota hai aur o se pehle koi consonant hota hai उसमें हमें ई एस एड करके प्लूरल बनाना होता है लेट्स टेक दिस एग्जाम्पल हीरो द वर्ड हीरो एच ई आर ओ एंड विथ ओ और ओ से पहले क्या है आर है आर इज ए भावल राइट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू रूल वट वी नीड टू डू एस वी नीड टू एड एन ई एस सो हीरो बिकम हीरोस सिमिलरली मैंगो मैंगोस zero zeros potato potatoes echo echoes mosquito mosquitoes rule 6 part 2 but when there is a vowel before that o only s is enough agar koi word o se khatam hota hai aur o se pehle koi bhi vowel hota hai to hame sirf ek s add karna hai let's see this word kaku the word kaku ends with o o se pehle kya hai o it means o bhi ek vowel hai o se pehle vowel hai theek hai isliye hame es nahi add karna hai hame sirf s add karna hai similarly bamboo bamboos studio studios this word studio ends with the letter o or o se pehle kya hai i again i is a vowel isliye just s add karna hai same way portfolio portfolios okay that's all for today we will continue with the next session 
and thank you for watching keep practicing keep learning stay safe bye bye